Buddy just chasing back at it again with another review. Uh, today we're gonna talk about the rock and roll cart. Um, I feel like it's a necessity uh, for your DJ, man. It's something you need to have. Uh, I think it's like eight and one type deal. Uh, I feel like I need this. What made me want to buy this? Um, this cart was like, uh, I think like the last three or four gigs I've been struggling, like with carrying these speakers and stuff like that, man. Like, I don't know, it's taking a toll on my body, so I had to find something out, but something not too big, but something that would be very effective. So I decided to go out and get this rock and roll cart, you know what I'm saying? I bought two of them. I bought the Micro R2 and the R10, I think. Yeah, the, so I bought two of them. Too many trips, and I was like, bro, I, I gotta have something small and very helpful, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I went and did my research, man. And I came up with the rock and roll cart. So, I'm gonna show you guys what it could do and what it can't do, you know what I'm saying? It took me a while to figure it out, but I got it. So, let's get into it. So, you just push down like that and pull straight up. That's how you put it one side so you can have it like that. And you can do a dolly at the same time, you know what I'm saying? This is a dolly now. Or you do one side. You come back like this, put it straight down. Try to jam my finger. Pull that back like that. Somebody got screws up here. I'll be in my tire. So now you got a full cart. Just like that. Look at that, man. And the capacity of this thing right here is like 350. I think the other one I got is 550. So this is 350. This, this can hold two tops and a sub maybe. You know what I'm saying? Well, two, two subs and two tops. I'm gonna show y'all guys how to stand it in a minute. These guys like cutting grass and stuff, but uh, I'm gonna read the specs on this thing, man. So I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six. They got like 10 different types you can get. So I went with the R2 and the R10, man. All you need is like a socket wrench or a vice grip, you know what I'm saying? Put this together, and that's it, man. This is a quick little demo right here, you know what I'm saying? This is how I go right like this. Two coffins, it's a mixer, CDJ, 15 inch PV, you know what I'm saying? Moving with ease. Nothing major, man. Just my one hand. You see it, one hand, man. Just back and forth. I ain't gotta hurt my back. Quick little demo. With that being said, all this uh slow-mo I just did. Let's get out of it. But like I was saying, um, if you're a DJ man, you can carry a lot of speakers and stuff and you already solo. 
you might need to buy one of these, you know what I'm saying? I think I spent 105, I think, for the first one, and I think for the second one, it was like 130, 140. But you can't be out here missing your backup, man, because, hey, these subs and these uh, tops and speakers, man, and these turntables and these cases, these coffins, hey, they tell your backup, man. You need to be smart about it. Go on and get you one of these things right here, man. Uh, these rock and roll joints. I'm about to show you. Uh, so they got like eight different ways. I think I'm gonna only use it uh, three different ways. I want to say just uh, like long ways. Um, the dolly part, and that's about it. I'm not using all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just sticking, sticking them on there, put them on there, rolling out. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm just trying to spread the word, man, what you need to get, what you need to buy, because uh, I ain't for all that uh, carrying these speakers and stuff like I used to, all these bags and wires, man. Got to make your job easier, you know what I'm saying? Like, got to be smart about it, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. But uh, I got more videos on the way. This is just a review on the cart. If you feel like you don't, if you feel like it's expensive, man, think about it as, as an investment. Just spend the money, man. Go on and get what you need to do. <laughs> I went ahead and dropped 100, well, I dropped like 250 on, I think both of them, so. I needed them, you know what I'm saying? Cause I don't like carrying stuff. I like to be more professional, you know what I'm saying? Be very simple, be very complex, so. Ain't nothing wrong with that, you know what I'm saying, so. Don't be tight on your money. But like I said, man, I haven't seen a review in a long time, so I had to make a video on it because I got a lot of people following me now, you know what I'm saying? Hit me up in DMs about questions about what they should get, what kind of equipment you should get. Maybe I'll tell you what kind of speakers you should get, but it's only really a few, brand, uh, really a few brand, brands you need to get, so. That's just that, man. Uh, micro R2 rock and roller cart. Very small, complex. Needed for the coupe, you know what I'm saying? Two tops, table. That's it. Downsizing, man. That's, that's the key now to this DJ lifestyle now. Just downsizing. Downsizing, so. Well, I got more videos on the way. Like, comment, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? It don't even hurt to just like a video, you know what I'm saying? Even if you comment, coming, just hit the, the thumbs up button, man. So my, you can go to the top of the recommend. That's all I need. You know what I'm saying? Once I do that, I'm taking off. And that's it, man. I'm out.